Okay, and we're live. I think. Yep, we should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna be playing just a story game today because I feel like it. Also, I'm kind of ill, and um, focusing on anything too significant is kind of hard. So yeah, this is a story about my uncle. It's probably gonna take me about four and a half hours to complete. I think that's um how I did it last time. It is a story game about a man telling his daughter, I think it is, a story about his uncle um, that leads to like this weird fantastical world full of weird things where he's searching for his uncle and it's it's good anyway we're gonna get jump in i'll adjust volumes accordingly as we go um but yeah it's it's a very sweet game filled with a lot of story not great on the graphic side i mean it's got enough to make it work but i like it so i'm gonna play it and i want other people to know it exists too so let's jump in gonna go over that i have played this game dad? before like i said aren't you sleeping yet it's time for bed honey dad i can't sleep can you tell me a bedtime story all right what do you want to hear something something about an adventure hmm i think i know just the thing when i was your age my biggest dream was to follow my uncle fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. So basically we're playing through his quote-unquote memories. And, uh, yeah. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. All of his international collections. <laughs> see, this is the kind of organized chaos I wish I could achieve, but my room always just looks like pure chaos. Daddy's helmet. <laughs> so these are interactables. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Galapagos is a beautiful place, we'll say that now. Fantastical Frederick's Disposable System. FFDS. Sweet Home Logo. Um, platinum Bolts Needed. Hydraulic Overloader. Lots of equations I don't understand. Pipe for pressure. Oh god. Exposure in certain valve areas. A lot of gibberish. It emits light and noises. Possible commercial connection no cosmical connections jesus starlight hmm? we'll dispose of anything uh continent environmental friendly probably negatives dangerous for children price expensive probably where does it all go basically he's a mad scientist I have visited uncle fred's house countless of times but in the locker which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child.
I just love how beautiful this game is. It's so simple, but I love it so much. Like, just, just look how pretty that is. You can't really say it's not. <laughs> you know? I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going, or how I would get home. Like, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, I love it so much. But yes, we can sprint and jump, and this will get kind of hard later on, but for now it's just very pretty. Yeah, that's what it tells me how to sprint. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Oh shit, I say falling exactly when it told me not to. See, this is why I don't pay attention in games enough. <laughs> Sprinting jumps obviously take you further. I'm looking for like collectibles and things because like I said I played this game before I know there are a lot of collectibles in the game that I never found on my first playthrough Power jump. I was sure that someone had been here before me someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols but who where were they now Yeah, so this is a collectible. It's like a little heart machine. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Oop, did not need to jump that high. Okay, so it wants me to go that way. So naturally, I want to go the opposite direction that I missed. God damn it. There's got to be a way over there. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Just let me game, mom. Oh, I did not do that right either. Hold on. I'm gonna do this. There we go. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food, and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick. But I thought it was all very exciting. It's such a cute story about a family. Mm. Oh fuck, no, I fucked that up. I fucked it up. No. <laughs> Why am I not more patient? God damn it. Just look how pretty it is. Geronimo! I hope no one has like a fear of heights or anything because this can really bring it out. power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. 
Oh, little butterflies, how adorable. Yeah, so this just lets you fly around basically. So I have one charge of it before I have to land on my feet. That's what that means. That's what the one thing is on my glove. Which makes sense. Yeah, I'm in range of that. Cool. Oh, come on. I think I can avoid this. There we go. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. It's all about momentum. This game is a lot about momentum and learning how momentum is going to affect you. Timing things right. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, and seeing what's where. Ooh, collectible. Hold it. Oh, fuck. I've got to get back up there, though. Um... Is this gonna work? No, it's not. It's not gonna work. Side note, didn't work. Do I have to get the collectible again? Oh no, because I went back to a checkpoint. Yeah, I probably do. Okay. Let's have a look. Do I need to get it again? No, no, no. I've got it now. That's fine. It's such a simple game with such simple mechanics, but it is very fun. That was a bit wobbly. Oh well, it's fine. Oh yes, this is one of my most, this is one of my favorite mechanics in the game. The fact that you have to use momentum to fly like from one bit to another. What else do I hear beeping? Where is this collectible? Aha! Nailed it. No! I didn't mean to throw myself off. Fuck you. I will die a lot. Well, it's not even dying, it's just checkpoints. So yeah, you grapple moving objects and then it will fling you where you need to go. There we go. Ooh, this is a much faster moving object. There we go. Jesus, that momentum was slightly off, but it's fine. We still landed. Eesh. A little bit close. It's kind of foggy here as well. Just does limit my visuals a little bit. Okay, that is a moving rock, which I probably have to interact with. Yeah, okay, I do.
Just wait for it to come back around again. And leap. Oh, yeah, that is not a good angle. Oh, hey, second crystal. Gonna use this to get everyone out. It's easier. No, no collectibles. Okay. One. Oh, I did not throw myself far enough, did I? Oh, I did just about. Not that time though. Nope. I'm gonna be short. Am I? No. Ooh, nailed it. Totally meant to do all of that. More collectibles. Cool. Oh, fuck. That was quick. Didn't even see it. Okay, there's gonna be one moving object to another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just about. So is this one? If you have a fear of falling, you should definitely not play this game. Oh, I'm very far away from this. Kind of awkward. Okay, we're good. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. <laughs> Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. Oh my god, these are moving so fast. Okay. I will say this game is incredibly fun just to just like dart around with, with your grapple on. somebody else here as well and that's chapter one complete because that's not a super long game it's more just fun it's a, it's an adventure game with some really cute shit in it that's really quite beautiful Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller. 
and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people, or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans, they talked like humans. How is that possible? It's an adorable game. Yeah, and I, I, Maddie's one of my favorite characters from a game. I don't know, she just... She's great. Yeah, that was a close one. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? I just love how adorable the character designs are on this. Like, all of them are so adorable, but also I have somewhere to go, because I know for a fact there are collectibles up here. Come on, there we go. I'm basically throwing myself up a mountain, but I know there's a collectible at the top, so I kind of want to get it. It's a long way up. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you bitch. Okay, let's try that again. One. Throw. Two throws. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I can hear the beeping. Stop making me jolt off of it. There it is. Gotcha. Now I hope no one has a fear of heights or falling.
I just love the cute little art design as well. I don't know, it's adorable. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. Nope. Mistake. No. <laughs> there we go. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year, for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before. But when I counted the days in his journals, and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like, she didn't really mean it. Like... When you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. Anything fun or exciting to find? Yeah. Aww. Aww. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village, though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another thing we had in common. Mm, so sad. And back to jumping puzzles. Which I've already fucked up. Good job me! There we go. Better. No, oh, jeez, momentum. Okay, we're good. Fuck. I need to remember my momentum. Jesus. A stranger in our homes. Welcome. Our name is Samuel and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's to danger? 
If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Maddie just be doesn't safe. want to be stuck here, that's all. She wants adventure. Like Fred. Again, look at so beautiful. I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Some of these jumps are not easy. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm jumping stationary to moving. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Please say I timed it right. Okay, I did. Oh boy. And back to stationary, then to platform. Oh man, fuck. I fucked it up. Son of a pineapple. Okay, let's try that again. That time I just fucked up the timing. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be fine. Nope. Let's grab this one. Yeah, it's better. Alright, there we go. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well? Or was it something else? It's a very scary idea. I mean, fear of the dark isn't actually um, ridiculous or crazy. It's, it's about not being able to see what is coming for you. And it is a very fathomable and, well, very acceptable fear to have that has developed in the human consciousness for a long time. Okay, being a gamer, I'm gonna go the wrong way first. Of course. Is that me? Mm. You can come back through the game again later. The more collectibles you get, 
the uh, the more like bonus stuff that you find and you can get. So I guess I'll have to come through later and see what that says. You know, play through the game a few more times. Maddie? I'll do that in my own time. Hi, I'm glad you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know. Won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around, but... I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the Strays. But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. <clears throat> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Oh, ye of little faith. Madeline climbed up on my back. <laughs> and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. Now if I go this way, maybe she'll translate. No? You're not going to translate this for me? Okay. Worth a try. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Mm. Farewell, old life. Let us start anew. The Straits were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. Nope, oh, fuck. Fly into it. Okay, we're good. Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us everywhere in the cave. The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. Collectibles, that's what it means. Totally collectibles, nothing else. Speaking of, there's one. Heard the beeping. Very faint beeping. Actually, how many collectibles have I got now? Let's have a look. I need one more and then I can get some more stuff. Alright, that's fine. I think I can change the beam color with one more collectible, which would be really cool. What was that? I had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying, and I imagined it wouldn't be happy about visitors. Oh, hey, Jesus, that was close. Hmm. 
a collectible again. All right, does this mean I can change the color of my bean now? Oh, come on. Not quite yet. I already collected that one before. Must have done. See that glowing plant over there? I bet something will happen if you used your grapple on it. Told you so. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I forgot about that. It's been a very long time since I played this game. It is really dark down there. You're not scared, are you? Cuz I'm not. Mm, Maddie. Okay to be scared. Especially of the dark. Fred has been with my people since the first villager was born. He helped us build the village, taught us how to speak, and helps us with everything. He taught me how to read and write as well. That's how I could learn to read the writing on the walls. I can hear beeping, or is it? There it is. Yes, there we go. All right, let's have a look. Red, now it's like PN. Don't move when the eye is open. I think I figured out what eye that riding was going on about. Maybe we shouldn't charge right out in front of that thing. Remember what it said. Don't move when the eye is open. Basically, just stay still. It's a, it can't see you when you're still. gonna get back up in a minute it's got to okay this way this way this way no, this is too long I'm gonna wait for it to wake up again Just don't move, it can't see me. Okay. Oh, 
I'm playing this very safe, but I'm just gonna keep playing it safe. There it is. Don't move. Towards it? Oh, don't move again. Okay. Oh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes! We did it! You're awesome! I knew you had it in you. That was close. We had made it through, and I felt like nothing could stand in our way of finding Fred. Hey, Chasm's perfect run. Got that achievement because I didn't fall this time. Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. It's so pretty. Whoa. This is it! This is where the Strays built their village! And what a beautiful place they chose! Just look at the sky! It is so... big! Well, already fucked up. Wait. Hey, I managed to save it. it Jesus was a Christ. To finally feel the sun on my face and the gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. Oh, so this is the way I'm supposed to go, so I go the other way first. We know the rules, boys. Aha, called it. Knew there had to be one around here somewhere. Do I like this beam color? It's literally any color I want it to be. You know, red is the only color I'd want it to be. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that's fine. Okay, now where do I go from here? Is it down? Yeah, it's down. See, isn't this adorable? I mean, I'm scared of heights, but look at this, man. Look how beautiful that is. I love this game. Fuck, nope. Did not jump high enough on that one. I should have gone up, not forwards. Good to know. Oh no, I kind of need to go up and forward. Like that. There we go. Nope, nope. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. I will do this. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Once I figure out how to do this. I 
Again, it's about momentum. But I need to get the right momentum. Okay, nope, wait. Does that work? Have I just glitched it? I think I glitched it. No, yeah, I'm falling. Ah! <sighs> I remember hating this level before. Jump to there. Pull myself down. There we go. Memento. So confusing. Up. Along my journey, I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seemed to be everywhere. Oh no, are these? There we go, one, two, three. Up and under. I'm gonna have to use that at some point. I'm guessing that's next. Yeah. If the legends were true, the stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet they were making great progress. They invented crystal powered can I not machines, jump onto this? I can. produced Ooh. their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. Oh, I don't see a fox No, I didn't. Okay. How come they didn't use crystals in the village like that? Didn't they have any? They did have a few, but never used them. The villagers thought the crystals were sacred, that they were the source of life and shouldn't be fiddled with. Wait, didn't Fred use them? For his power cores, yes. I guess he was an exception. The strays, on the other hand, they mined crystals and used them for all sorts of machinery and decorations. They praise them too, just in another way. It's a very good story, this game. It's just a peaceful journey, kind of, mostly. Kind of like family and love and loss. Very good. Hey, let's play a game. I bet that you can't get through this part without using the grapple device. Alright. Okay, Maddie, game on. No grapple device, so I can only jump. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nope. Told you you couldn't <laughs> do it. Oh, shut mm -hmm. up, buddy. Told you you couldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> this is very hard. I went back to the beginning, though, so it's fine. <laughs> nope. Told you you couldn't do it. Okay, shut up, Maddie. We're doing this again. Can't challenge me like that. I did, because now I gotta do it. Maybe I just need to running jump this. Yeah, there we go. Um, where the fuck do I go next? I'm not using a sprint jump somewhere. There we go. And normal jump here. Got power jump here and here. So pretty. Um power jump 
I'll jump. Now we're uh, there. Is that a power jump or is that a normal jump? No, fuck it. I give up. <laughs> Told you I give you up. Couldn't do I can't it. do it. Maddie, you're right. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I was so close though as well. I probably could have done it, but I give up now. I'll do it another time. Grapple just makes things easier. Which I know is the whole point. Also, there's something down here. They're a collectible? Yes, called it. How the fuck do I get back up again? Momentum is probably how I get back up. Fucking son of a gun. Oh, okay, I keep hitting the rock. It's gotta be a way back up. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe I can go around this side and do it. Oh, this side's more bobbly than the other side. I was nearly there. Just need to fling myself up a little bit. Son of a- there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, that was not a big enough jump. Yes, it was. Holy shit, just enough. Wait, does this want me to like grapple like one? Which is very difficult. These things are actually very hard to get. And then two. Yeah, okay, then three. Oh, what's that? The boots, look. Couldn't you wear those? Upgrade your suit. Oh, cute. Oh, these are the rocket boot things. I gotta remember these. With this addition. The suit felt at least 20% cooler. <laughs> at least 20% cooler. Sweet! <laughs> now you gotta try them out. <laughs> this is awesome! It was awesome. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies. Never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? Cute. Okay. Got to be careful not to tap that by accident. Oh shit. I should have used the rocket boots there, not at that point. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah, that's better. Right, cool. Three. Wait, where the fuck am I supposed to go from that? What the fuck? Right. Oh, am I supposed to go one, two, three, rocket? That's what I'm supposed to do. Let's try it. One, two. That means I really need to fling myself. Yeah, okay. I really need to fling myself. Got it. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. I just love Maddie as a character, dude. 
He's just so full of life. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, I fucked that up. Hey, I'm gonna fall. Um, oh, she just like wants to live life and not be restricted by people around her. That's a real cool character. Why everyone loves Maddie? Everyone who plays this game loves Maddie. See, I fucked it up again. Let me keep doing that. That way. Okay. I think I need to let myself go more down and pull myself up and up. Yeah, that's better. I can do that. <laughs> this whole game is basically a jumping puzzle. But a really fun one. And doing all of this is so cool, so... You know. It's quite fun to just fly around on. I've replayed levels on this before just to fly around on them. A great icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. Oh shit, I am, yeah, way too close. Too close. Still too close. Hey game, stop letting me get so close to this thing. Oh, fuck it. Oh, Jesus Christ, how did I salvage that? Momentum, like I said, very important. <laughs> Not always easy. I think I'm going here. That's where I just came from. Fuck knows. No, it's not. No. No, I came from that way. This is fine. Right. I've kind of accidentally got the right place. That's fine. We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. I don't have enough momentum again. God fucking damn it. <sighs> I can do this. That way. And that way. That way. That way. Hold it for longer. Let myself fly further. And rocket boost. There we go. Cool! Those must be the strays! I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin, this is Ingo, and that's Tamia. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like He's in the village? He's a pirate. <laughs> village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself. Like this lamp. You made that? Awesome! I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there though, so I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye, you guys. 
<laughs> they look so funny. It looks like kind of adorable though. And it's also pretty. Which I think I've said about ten times now, but that's not the point. Shut up, Maddie. I hit beeping. Over here. Okay, fine. <laughs> what do you want? Hey. <clears throat> yeah, I heard you. Okay, yeah, okay. You just want to get my back. Uh. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. Where is this beeping coming from? Oh my god, it's infuriating. There is a collectible here somewhere. I can hear it. I can't be the only one who hears it. Oh, it's down here. Jesus Christ. Trying to drive me crazy. Onward to the mountains. Oh, fuck. Messed that up. It's fine, though. There's so many routes through this. I wonder how possible Maddie's challenge is if it's just that section or if you're supposed to do it the whole time. Obviously, failed it, so not gonna try, but... I guess it can't be possible in these bits. I don't know. Oops, not quite what I meant to do, but works either way. Okay, really, 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 really. God fucking damn it. Excuse my language. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Don't mind me checking for collectibles. Oh, okay. Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. It's okay, Maddie, you can stay. Oh fuck, should I use my rocket boots too soon again? Oi, fuck. No, we're okay. Quickly, grab a hold of that crate! <laughs> it is such a beautiful game, man.
Good day. Here's a bow to Ice King. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Oh. Bye, <laughs> friend. Uh, Maddie's so cute. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me, and the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. Okay, Game of Thrones, calm down. <laughs> into the caves again. And now, it was just me. Alone in these cold, barren halls of ice. But Fred had been here. And now... I could feel it. I was getting close. Something wasn't right. The grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off of the ice, and I couldn't get a grip. I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick. This was going to be a challenge. Nope. Nope. <laughs> where the fuck was I supposed to go from there? Jesus. Okay, so we go from here. Oh, it's the rocks above. Okay. I'm being dumb. Yeah, no more pulling myself to the ground, though, so... I know it gets harder from here on out. I said it before, I said this at the beginning, it's a very short game, this, but I love it, and I think more people should be aware of it, so... I figured I'd play it anyway. Okay, I hear beeping again, which means it's a collectible nearby. Either that or I'm going crazy. I'm probably just going crazy. Oh no, that's the music. Okay, I'm going crazy. Fuck on. Momentum, pull me up. Thank you. There we go. Mm. 
When I drained the crystal, I suddenly felt the earth starting to move beneath my feet, and my mind wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of power to keep their cities afloat. I decided it was best to hurry back the way I came before this whole room came apart. Well, I'm fucked. Unless I can land on this. I quickly jump back upwards. Yep. And pull myself this way. Pull myself that way. There we go. Nailed it! Okay, kind of. Like, I fell a few times, but we won't talk about that. The crystals also reflected the grapple beam, but as they did, they seemed to recharge the grappling device. New mechanics, woo. One. Oh, fuck that up already. Love that. Two. Beam. One. Two. Three. Aye, aye. Those floating stones, what were they? I'm not sure. If only Maddie had come with me, maybe she could have translated the scripture on them. But Dad, didn't you learn some of their letters? Well, I had realized that each one of their letters represented one of ours. Maybe I could remember the writings that Maddie read to me in the chasms. Yeah, nope. My memory is not that good. <laughs> Why am I going this way when I don't even know where I'm going? Okay. Oh, I think I fucked up. I needed the rocket boots for this bit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I tried. And again, what's here? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I did not mean to use my rocket boots game. But I was on the ground. Shh. Oh, where am I going? Oh, I was supposed to use the crystals to. Oh, son of a. Pineapple. I need to stop saying that. But, you know, it's too easy to say. It makes sense to me. So, here. Fuck it. Yeah. 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 And how am I supposed to get past this part? Because I didn't see any crystals. Looks like I can stop here. Okay. Then there. Then there. Okay, right down. Okay, this makes sense now. At least kind of. Mm 
not for momentum. Okay. Okay, really? <laughs> Let's try that again. I got stuck on a fucking icicle. Where am I going? That is probably an important thing to figure out. Not okay, that is that is a clipping through the floor. Hey, sorry, she needs to drink something there. I mentioned before, I am ill, so please excuse me a minute. I do this and then okay yeah this should probably work right yeah there we go Oh, please work. Yes, okay. Hmm. Oh, I thought this would be like ice I couldn't do. Guess not. I get back on myself? Yeah. Fuck it. Fucked up. And saved it? Question mark? Okay. I guess I did. What? I do not- oh, I need to look back on myself. Okay, game. Ay, ay, ay. So I need to go one, two, th Tap three? Right? One. Two. Tap. One. Yeah, okay. Three. Ooh, that's a little close for comfort. Okay. Nope, you just- you don't want me to grab that. Okay. I mean, it's gotta go this way. Right? That's the most logical thing to grapple onto. But now momentum's wrong. Fuck. A duck. Okay, no, here we go. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Then go this way. There we go. I landed hard and felt the impact vibrate through my body. 
The suit had protected me, but it was in bad shape. The rocket boots were worst off. The crash had ruined the functionality completely. I, I told knew me that, that if I stayed them. here to fix them, I would probably freeze to death. I had no other choice than to press on. But I have to go down. And then, oh Jesus, up. I'm supposed to swing myself under, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay. I see. Rocket boots damaged. Good to know. Can't use those anymore. Just save my ass. It's kind of annoying. Oh fuck. No, oh, I was trying to do the jump, but it. Let's try that again. Two. Three. Oh wait, isn't this where I just came from? Fuck, yes it is. Hey, hey, hey. Over here, up here. This way. Okay, it's gotta be way up there. There we go. Note to self, not like that. Not like that. Just not like that. Okay, so I need to go up again. Onto that plinth. Okay. I feel like I'm missing collectibles. Which is a little annoying. But I'll live. Go. Okay. Nope, oh, come on. I had it, you bitch. Excuse my language. Okay, so here. Next. Here. There. Fine, I'll go this way then. Next, and this isn't close enough to that. Yes, so I do need to go this way. Fuck off, fuck off. Okay, again. I so had that. Nope. I will get that. I will. Just gotta get this right. Fuck up. Mm. 
There we go. Oh, I think I was cutting corners. I was supposed to go around this side. But well, you know what? I got here. That's what matters. Oh, and then I fell again. Oh, you son of a pineapple. Okay, right this way. There we go. How could Fred leave stuff behind everywhere? How much was he carrying? As I remember it, Fred wasn't that good at keeping track of all his things. Like you. Hey, it's not like you're any better. Sorry. Anyway, Fred counted on losing a few things on each of his journeys. He always brought more stuff than he needed. For a paddling trip we had, he brought so many life jackets we could barely fit ourselves in the canoes. Isn't it hard to lose track of a life jacket if you're wearing it? Uh, <laughs> good point. I guess he didn't really think of that. It's kind of adorable, the stories that they tell. Like obviously this is all written as a game. Not a real tale, but the way that it's spoken and the way that it's enunciated and everything is just feels very real in its own way ooh that's collectible I found another one of Fred's campsite noticeably newer than the others. The fire was still smoldering, and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. I was closing in on him. I could feel it. He had left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. That should do it. Good as new. Yay, I have my rocket boots back. Good timing, apparently. Especially seeing as I can't grapple on any of this ice. Guess the game knows that. Okay. Um, fuck. No, momentum failed me. Oh no, I need the last grapple to fucking grapple that thing. Oh, nailed it. Never mind. We're good. Kinda cheesing it a little bit, but I'll take it. Fucker. I'm not good at jumping puzzles, which is probably why I'm not so good at this game, but it's a fun game either way. Yes, yeah, see, I fall even though. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to salvage that. There was no way. There's no way that I'm getting back up there. Oh well, we tried. Right. Try this again. There we go. Checkpointed it. Better. Mm. 
now where the hell do I go? Am I missing something obvious? Am I supposed to go that way? Surely not, that's ages away. Yeah, no, can't be going that way. Oh, I'm supposed to go along the fucking things on the roof. Never mind, I see it now. Okay. See, fucker, still much fucking fuck up again. I swear a lot, I should really stop swearing so much. Buried beneath the ice, you could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The ice age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing tsunami. Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Wow, that is a horrifying depiction. I like that even the dark in this game though is like creepy but not at the same time. Like it's always beautiful in its own way. And I respect that. There we go. Fred had come this way alone too. I took some comfort in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them too. And beaten them. If he could do it, I could do it too. Get out of this one, that way. Oh, except that's collectible. I need it. Oh, I got a new, new unlockable. What I get? Goat mode? Not enough goats. Needs more goats. Give goat. I kind of want to see what this is. Oh my fucking god, it makes it into a goat sound. Okay, I'm not going to use that on this, but that is... Beautiful. Um, right, what was I doing? Right, let's go up here. Oh god, that was distracting. Um,
Guess we keep going somewhere? Where the fuck am I going now? Um... Saying to go this way, but... Okay. Oh my god, that is such a leap of faith. Oh, fuck. Okay, made it. And can you imagine just soaring through the sky like that? How much fun it would be? Just random note, but I think random things sometimes. Terrifying, but fun, you know? It was dark all around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Hello? Nephew? Uncle Fred, I finally found him. My little boy, I'm glad to see you, and you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop, and that I came looking for him. I'm sorry for being away for so long. Oops, I went past him, but I can't go back. I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I've conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Starhaven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline, my little Maddie. I, I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. Well, I left her. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I have changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. It's such a beautiful game. It's very short, but it's it's cool, man. There's also underlying themes in it and you know, talking about getting through stuff alone and together. Fears of dark and fears of not seeing someone again.
I don't know. It's a good game. And it's so much fun to just fly around the map. I do want 100% this in my own time, but uh, I will do that in my own time. In the meantime, I'm uh, probably going to end this stream here. I will probably do another one around 6 o'clock. Yeah, I reckon around 6 o'clock I'll start another stream. Probably something a little more uh, shooty. <laughs> probably play some Siege or something of the like. Um, either that or I'll see who's around and maybe we'll do something else. But for now, we're going to end this here. And I'll be back later for more streams, more fun. And uh, I hope everyone has a good day until then. And uh, yeah, goodbye guys.